In today's video, we'll be looking at how to solve indirect proportion worded problems. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. Alright guys, so as mentioned in the initial stages of the video, we want to look at how to solve indirect proportional worded problems, alright? But before we can get into that, we first need to get an understanding of what the whole concept of indirect proportion is all about, alright? So in indirect proportion, as one variable increases, the other variable decreases, alright? The same is true. If one variable decreases, the other variable will increase, all right? So that's what indirect proportion is all about. Now, to give you a better understanding of that, we are going to look at a worded problem here, all right? So if five men can reap a field in nine days, how many days will 15 men take to reap the field, all right? So think about it. If five men can actually reap the field in nine days, then of course, it should take 15 men a lesser time to reap the field, all right? So if the amount of men increase, then we expect the amount of days that it will take to reap the field to decrease, all right? So that's what a direct proportional problem is all about. So if one variable increases, then we expect the other variable to decrease, all right? So that's what needs to happen in order for us to classify a problem as being a indirect proportional problem, all right? Now let us look at how we go about solving this problem. All right, so here we have question one. So Alex takes 15 days to reduce 30 kilograms of his weight by doing 30 minutes exercise per day. If he does exercise for one and a half hours per day, how many days will he take to reduce the same weight? All right. So the first thing first, we need to identify the two variables in this question. And what I wanted to pay attention to is that the weight does not change. All right. So the whole goal is to lose 30 kilograms of weight. So that's constant. So we don't need to focus on that. Now, what we know is that what? When he exercises for 30 minutes per day, he'll take 15 days to lose the 30 kilograms of weight. All right. So what we are comparing is the days. All right. Comparing days with minutes. All right. So. When he exercised for 30 minutes, it will take him 15 days to lose the 30 kilogram of weight. Now they are asking us, if he increases his exercise and start exercising for one and a half hours per day, which is the same thing as what? 90 minutes. All right. So if he starts exercising for 90 minutes per day, how many days will he take to reduce the weight? All right. That we don't know as yet. All right. So that's how we'll set this thing up. All right. So the initial phases of the problem is very similar to that when solving direct proportional problem. However, this step right here is different. So being that this is a indirect proportional problem, what we are going to do is multiply straight across like this. All right. So we're going to have X times 90, which will give us 90 X is equal to 30 times 15, which will give us 450 all right now what we are going to do next is to divide both sides by 90 all right so 90 will cancel 90 up here and x will be equal to 450 divided by 90 and that will give us five days all right so pretty much it will take five days for him to lose the 30 kilogram of weight if he starts exercising for 90 minutes per day. All right. So if he increases the amount of time that he spends exercising, then the amount of days that it will take him to lose the 30 kilograms of weight will decrease. All right. Which simply means we have a indirect proportional problem on our hands right here. All right. 
And as always, you can write a statement to give clarity to the calculation. So you can say what? It will take Alex five days to lose the 30 kilograms of weight if he starts exercising for one and a half hours per day. All right. Something to that effect. Now, let us look at question two. All right. So here we have question two. So a hotel has enough food for 125 students for 16 days. How long will the food last if 75 more students join them? All right. So think about it. The two variable in this case would have been what? Students. All right. And days. Now, what do we know? We know that. The food will last 125 students for 16 days. All right. Now, what we want to know now is how long, which we don't know. That simply refers to the amount of days the food will last if we add 75 more students to what we have already, which is 125 students. So if we should add 75 students to the 125 that we already have, then that will amount to 200 students. So we want to know how long will the food last for 200 students, all right? And again, being that this is a indirect proportional problem, we simply multiply straight across like this, all right? So we'll have 200 times x, that will give us 200x. And this is equal to 16 times 125, which is 2,000. And what we want to do now is to divide both sides by 200. All right. So 200 cancels 200. And x is equal to 10. So 2000 divided by 200 will give you 10. So x is equal to 10 days. All right. So therefore, the food will last 200 students 10 days. All right. So if we add 75 more students to the 125 students that we already have, the food will only last for 10 days, which simply means if we increase the amount of students, then the amount of days that the food will last will simply decrease. All right. So that means that we have a indirect proportional problem treating with. All right. So here we have question three. So if five men can reap a field in nine days, how many days will 15 men take to reap the field? All right. And it's easy to identify the two variables, of course. One would be men and the other would be days. All right. So it asks us if five men can reap a field in nine days, then how many days? We don't know the amount of days. So we'll put an X over here. Will it take 15 men to reap the field? All right. And being that this is a indirect proportional problem, we simply multiply across. All right, so I'll we'll end up with 15 times X, which is 15 X is equal to five times nine, which is 45. And what we want to do now is to divide both sides by 15. So 15 will cancel 15 here and X will be equal to three. All right, so this would actually be three days. All right, so if you increase the amount of men that you have reap in the field, then the time that it will take to completely reap the field will decrease, all right? So hopefully that makes a lot of sense. And as always, you can put this thing in a statement. You can say, therefore, it will take three days for 15 men to reap the field, all right? Now let us look at question four. All right, so here we have question four. So it takes four nurses six hours to treat 14 patients. How long will it take eight nurses to treat the same 14 patients, all right? So notice the 14 patients is constant, all right? So that's the amount of patient that they're dealing with. So of course, the two variables would actually be the nurses and the amount of hours that it will take them to treat the 14 patients, all right? So we know that it takes four nurses, six hours to treat the 14 patients. Now what they want us to find is what? How long, which means the amount of hours, it will take eight nurses to treat the same 14 patients, all right? So I want to know how long it will take those eight 
nurses, all right? What we can do now, being that this is a indirect proportional scenario, we can simply multiply straight across. So I'll have a times x, which is 8x, is equal to 4 times 6, which is 24, all right? Now what we are going to do is to simply divide both sides by 8. So 8 will cancel 8 here, and x will be equal to 3 hours, all right? So if we increase the amount of nurses, then the time will decrease that it will take to treat the 14 patients. Now let us look at question 5. Alright, so here we have question 5. So if a large Red Cross ship has enough food to last the 600 passengers for 3 days, how long will the food last if the number of passengers were to be reduced to 200? Alright. So of course, right away we know the two variables. So we're dealing with passengers, all right? And we're dealing with these, all right? So we know that the food will last 600 passengers for three days. Now what we want to know is how long, which simply means the amount of days the food will last if we reduce the number of passengers from 600 down to 200 all right and being that this is a indirect proportional problem we can simply multiply straight across so 200 times x will give us 200 x is equal to 3 times 600 which is 1800 and what we want to do now is to simply divide both sides by 200 and what we can do now is to use 200 here to cancel the 200 down here. And we'll be left with x is equal to 9 days. All right. So if we reduce the number of passengers from 600 to 200, then the food will last for a longer time. All right. So if one variable decrease, which is passenger in this case, then the amount of days that the food will last will increase. All right. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Now let us look at question six. All right, so here we have question six. So 15 workers can complete a road construction in seven days. How many workers will be required to complete this road in three days, all right? So of course, we already can identify the two variables. We are looking at workers and days, all right? So we know that 15 workers can complete a road construction in seven days. And they ask us how many workers, which means we don't know the amount of workers it will take to complete the road construction in three days. All right. And being again that this thing is a indirect proportional problem, we can simply multiply across. So what you would have observed is that we can use this method to solve any indirect proportional worded problem all right so three times x will give us three x is equal to seven times 15 which is 105 what we can now do is to simply divide both sides by three so three will cancel three here and x will be equal to 105 divided by three which is 35 workers So if the amount of days decrease, then the amount of workers will need to do the job will have to increase, all right? So that's what made this thing a indirect proportional problem. Now let us look at question seven. All right, so here we have question seven. So if it took 30 days for 10 men to wire a house, how long would it take six men to wire the same house, all right? And of course, it's easy for us to identify the variables we, we can look at days and men, all right? So it takes 30 days for 10 men to wire a house. And they ask us how long, which means the amount of days it will take six men to wire the same house, all right? And again, being that this thing is a indirect proportional problem, we are required to multiply straight across. All right, so six times X will give us six X. And this is equal to 30 times 10, which is 300. And what we are now going to do is to divide both sides by six. 
So 6 will cancel 6 here. And x is equal to 300 divided by 6, which is 50 days. All right. So it will take 50 days for six men to wire the house. All right. Now let us look at the final question, which is question eight. All right, so here we have question eight. So Mr. Richard used three pipes to water his lawn. The three pipes takes six hours to completely water the lawn. How many pipes will Mr. Richard need in order for his lawn to be completely watered in two hours, all right? So of course, what we're looking at here, the two variables would have been pipes and hours, all right? So we know that what? Three pipes can water the lawn in what? Six hours. And they ask us what? How many pipes? All right. So how many pipes, which means we don't know the amount of pipes it will take to completely water the lawn in two hours. All right. So we'll put the two over here. And again, being that this is a indirect proportional problem, we simply multiply across. So x times 2 is the same thing as 2x is equal to 3 times 6, which is 18. And now we divide both sides by 2. So 2 will cancel 2 here. And x is equal to 18 divided by 2, which is 9. All right, so 9 pipes. So therefore, it will take 9 pipes to completely water Mr. Richard's lawn in 2 hours. All right. So this is where we'll be ending today's video. All right, if you haven't yet done it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button to be notified whenever we post new videos. As always, thanks for watching.